Lake Ohrid between Macedonia and Albania. Zoran Spirkovsky works for the Macedonian Hydrobiological Institute. His goal is to protect the lake's unique ecosystem. My job became my dream. And that means realization of my dream because I, I'm uh, raised on the lake. I was living 10 meters from the lake and I know the lake, how it breathes, what we say. And every breath of that lake I remember since I was young. The value of the lake, which is priceless, you cannot say how much does it worth, it's priceless and we have to keep it for further generations. The lake is around 10 million years old and harbors a wide range of endemic species. But over the years, many of the lake's fish were brought to the brink of extinction due to overfishing. The Hydrobiological Institute, where Spirovsky works, breeds fish and returns about 2 million to the lake every year. Wolfgang Fremut from the Frankfurt Zoological Society has been working in the region for over 20 years. With 3.5 million euros of funding from the German KFW Development Bank, he's helping establish a transnational biosphere reserve. The biggest problem here is a man-made one, namely over-exploitation of natural resources such as the forests or overfishing. On the Albanian side of the lake, farmers are believed to have been cutting down trees illegally in a nature reserve. Ranger Vassal Male is trying to find out what's going on. These elderly farmers have lived their whole lives in the nature reserve, and now suddenly they're being told where they're allowed to fell trees and where they can't. They don't understand that we want the area reforested. Like the farmers, Vassal Mali grew up here on the Albanian side of the Prespa region. He knows every inch of the woods. Here in the nature reserve, he's familiar with every single tree. I get angry when I see this sort of thing. The people responsible aren't impoverished locals. Those people come to us and we show them where they can cut down trees. Ten years ago, this spot where we're standing consisted of knee-high undergrowth. The sort of people who destroy an area that's only recently been reforested are not acting out of desperation, but because they want to make a quick profit. 